Hello everyone! Today we will take a quick look at the teacher's portal. Let's get started. Once you have logged into your account, you will find yourself looking at the initial page that is entitled Dashboard, which includes several key features. It displays the number of groups, students and subjects that you teach. You can find all these up here. Additionally, there is a timetable that shows messages about new emails, announcements, assignments and reminders for students or teachers' birthday. For example, here we can find the birthday notification. Current events are also highlighted to the calendar on the right side of the page. Here we can see the timetable. You can see these events daily, weekly or monthly. There is also a quick action menu down here. The menu bar is conveniently located on the left side for, of the page for easy navigation. Then we have the calendar and timetable section. The calendar presents events, meetings or other academic tasks for specific dates or periods. You can select to view the calendar by month, week or day. Here to my calendar section you will be able to see the timetable sessions as well as the various scheduled institutional events. If you click on a calendar entry which is part of the timetable you will view a smaller window with the name of the subject, class name and timetable period. For example, here we have Mathematics Year 6. We can see the day and time that it starts and ends. The timetable right here presents the teacher's weekly school schedule. This is the static and default timetable, we could say, that you will follow during the academic year unless any changes of occur, of course. You can also select the location you want to see. Here we have all locations for our example, but you can also choose only middle school, for example. Here. You can also print your table out if you want. It will be in a format like this. Then we have the Manage Events tab. In this menu, you can add and manage your events and announcements. An event is a meeting or uh, an event where you can invite students, parents, teachers or employees. All events are present presented to participants in their, in their calendar. You can choose to view the events for a specific time period, such as for today or for the entire academic period. Here, for example, we have academic period and we can see all the events of the academic period. For example, here we have a party, we can see the date and time. You can also create your event from here or create an announcement from up here. If you click on create an event, you can choose the event category, if it is an after-school event, if it is a graduation ceremony or anything else. You can choose if it is an online event or not. You can write about some information and you can add the participants you want to come. Then we have the session section. Here we can choose again a range, uh, here we have this week and uh, you can also choose a group, a specific group if you want or a specific subject. Here we have all because we have all here. Using the daily sessions you can record various data and perform specific actions related to a subject delivery in a specific timetable period. Create a new session, assign a group and a subject and add information like which chapters you are teaching, the bibliography used, files, digital material and other things like that. You can also take numerous actions such as daily evaluation, task assignment, 
questionnaires and absences record. That way you can have an overall picture of each of your sessions. Here, for example, you can choose the mathematics of year six and you can have an overall picture of all these uh, actions we said before. For example, the attendance, the session marking, the academic progress, and all this. Then we are going to my groups. To view details of the group you are teaching at, select the name of the group from the list. For example, let's choose year 6B here. We can see that there are 8 educators at uh, this year. You can see the year. You can also see how many students are enrolled in year 6B. You can see students' contact details, attendance points, uh, badges, uh, thumbs up, assessment marks in comparison to the marks of the group for every, cla for every class uh, the student belongs to. Here, for example, we have uh, the children. You can see their academic progress. You can also see a lot more things from all these tabs here. Then we have My Students. In My Students section, you can see all your students and their personal and academic information. You can see all your students for or search by location or by student name. For example, you can search your students in high school only or in middle school only. Then we have my subjects. Here you can use the filters to see the subjects that you are teaching, um, supervising, or you are a second supervisor, uh, and select enrollment status. You can also use the search field in the filters to locate the specific subject. You can view already the selected subjects info or lesson planning. Here we have no filters, so all the subjects are here. So here you can choose only the lessons that you teach. So if you take English year 6, for example, you can see about subject here, subject planning um, right here. And you can edit all these from the edit button. Then we have the attendance tab. You can manage absences for a selected subject of a group on the selected date. For example, here we have uh, this date, 12th of uh, August, in this group year 10b and we have chosen the mathematics um, group so you can see here the name of the child and you can choose if he was absent late or otherwise his presence you can also take some notes here if you want attendance analysis right here. Use this function to get statistics about absences. Select the date and type, the status, and grade group, query type and absences filters from here to have the results you want. For example, here we have the academic period and we don't choose something else. We have only the students' absences. So we can have a list with all the absences right here. You can see that uh, some are not excused, some which absences are excused. And uh, information like this. 
then we go to classwork and homework section in this feature you can add classwork or homework per class or per student you can filter your homework by date on a seven days range per student or per group in order to assign homework to all your students here we can see that we have chose for example year 6b at the groups the subject we want and the date and we here we can see some homework and classwork here is the classwork here are some homework that's only for monday you can add uh, for tuesday on wednesday a different uh, classwork from here from this button then we have assessment and assignments from scheduling you can create manage and mark assessments exams assignment or quizzes Use scheduling to schedule or manage an assessment or an exam or a quiz maybe. Here you can choose the range. You can choose by the group if you want. And here we have some results. Use the class, the subject, the assessment, and from to date filters to show the assignment based on the search criteria. Then we have the marking feature to mark your students' assessments or exams or quizzes. Use the class group, marking period, subject, and assessment type filters to update assessment drop-down list and select the assessment or assignment you want to mark. Here we have um, in group year 6, the marking period is the first term, the subject is this one, the assessment uh, is this one, so we can have the results here. You can also activate or deactivate the presence button to state that the student was present or absent. Enter a mark in the available free text field. Here we have uh, an uh, assessment. We can see that uh, these uh, children were present, this one was absent. Uh, we can see their grade. Uh, right here then we have the grade book their marking is a marking tool that enables teachers to enter marks for its student per marking period you can see here you can see that you can choose by group again subject and the period We have the dis descriptive marking. Descriptive marking is a marking method used when you do not give numerical marks but descriptive ones. You can see already marks in three ways per student, per descriptive category, or per marking period. For example, here we are per student. We have chosen the year six again, mathematics and uh, Alfredo for our example so he is uh, I easily understand new concepts you can choose your answer here and you can select the other answers you want then you press save and it's ready for Alfredo you can do the same about uh, the other kids in the same group we have the educator students parents meetings here you can see all the meetings that have been scheduled for you by admins or parents from the filters area you can select 
a from to date and meeting type that you want to see. Here we have this week. We can choose all meetings. And here we can see a full uh, list of all the meetings uh, that uh, a teacher have. You can also, from the line actions button, you can change the status of a meeting. So if you have completed the specific meeting, you click on set as completed. If the meeting was cancelled, then click on the set as cancelled button. Here you can see set as completed, set as cancelled. So you can also reset as scheduled. Then we have the analysis section. You can see statistical information on sessions. We can see session marks, uh, assessment and assignments, and create book analysis. Here you choose again from the filters, the group, the subject, and you can see the results you can see a graph here and you can see a detailed list down here and then we have the quiz management a very helpful tool for uh, for the teachers in the quiz man management section you can create distribute that manage quizzes or surveys you can see and submit service distributed to you by the admin or uh, other staff. So here you can select the type. So we have all the quizzes that uh, you have um, you have submit, you have distribute and create. You can see create and edit all the available questions from here at the question bank of the database according to the selected category and level you can choose uh, mathematics for example you can see some uh, questions here you can choose english maybe you can choose other you can see the level here the category the, the question type use the quizzes page to create new quizzes surveys or to see edit or manage the distribution of your list here it's the create new from here you can create a new quiz at the quiz distribution page you can see the details of the distributions you have made here we have nothing yet you can also make it it anonymously if you want that was all for today thank you very much